Hey guys, my name is Diane and today I'm going to show you how to compose an architecture drawing. So what is the most effective way of doing an architecture drawing so that you can impress your professors and your clients? Well, to begin, you have to decide on what is the biggest focus of your scene. When talking about drawing composition, the first thing you have to think about is focus. You have to be selective in your drawing on what you're framing, what are you composing, what is your viewer supposed to look at, what are they supposed to focus at, so they can understand what is the most valuable thing you're portraying in your drawing. So a good example of focus is actually the backdrop that's behind me. So as you can see, uh, the main focus of the drawing where I is attracted to is the opening of the bridge and the framing is all composed so that all lines can lead to that certain point so once you have established what is the most important focus on your drawing or what you're preparing to draw then the second step is composing a view when composing a view there's basically three things you need to consider First one is proportions. Um, how big is this drawing going to be? How small is it going to be? The second thing you need to consider is the orientation. For instance, this video is in a landscape, in a horizontal format. But if I were to display this in Instagram, it'd be better if I displayed it in a vertical manner. So it'd be better for the uh, software. The third thing we need to consider when composing a view are pictorial regions. Pictorial regions are basically the foreground, the middle ground, and the background. These help to transmit a sense of space. That way you can know if something is closer or if something is further. After we have a composed a mental view of what we want to draw, then we go into the third step of doing an architectural drawing composition, which is placing the composition. This basically means that once we establish the mental view, we have to make sure that this view fits in our paper. For this, we have to visualize extents. Visualizing extents is another way of saying we're going to cut the uh, drawing in a half vertically and a half horizontally. as if having two axes. And at the same time, we also have to establish the limits of how far the drawing is gonna go horizontally and vertically. So in this manner, we're gonna have a um, discipline format so that we can uh, develop our drawing. Some of the most popular drawing compositions are symmetry, the golden ratio, and the rule of thirds. These are so popular because they display information in such an effective and natural manner. Such in fact that we can find these uh, compositions in nature itself. For instance, in this plant, we can see that it has a mixture of the golden ratio and symmetry. The golden ratio and symmetry are very popular. However, the composition most wisely used in architecture is the rule of thirds. So what is the rule of thirds? This technique divides the page into equal thirds with two horizontal lines and two vertical lines in the page. The intent of this technique was to ultimately create more dynamic composition creating energy and points of interest at any four points of intersection amongst the vertical and horizontal lines. This is basically everything you need to compose an effective and handsome architecture drawing. In a nutshell, what you have to do to compose uh, an effective and beautiful architecture drawing is focus on what is the most important thing in your drawing, compose a view, uh, figure out the proportions, if it's better vertically or horizontally, and the pectoral regions, you know, if you're going to put 
uh, what's most important closer to you or gonna put it on the very back with lines leading to it. Uh, you gotta place the composition as well. You gotta ensure everything fits on the paper. And lastly, you gotta use these effective drawing compositions such as the rule of thirds we just spoke of. And with this, I guarantee you're gonna have an amazing drawing that is gonna impress your professors and impress your clients. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and hit the subscribe button. See you guys. Let me break.